A couple has lived in a sewer for 25 years. This is what it looks like inside. You may have seen people living in strange places, but Miguel Restrepo and Maria Garcia, a Colombian couple, have adapted to a very particular living situation. While it may not qualify as a traditional home, Miguel and Maria have managed to make it work. Their resilience and determination to overcome challenges are truly remarkable. Later on in this video, we'll delve deeper into their story. First, let's meet Bruce Paris, a citizen of Ohio who one day decided to leave behind his old life and embrace something entirely new. While the new place he moved to wasn't much bigger than his previous home, Bruce believed that the size of the property wasn't the most crucial factor for him. At the age of 50, Bruce made a radical decision to change his lifestyle. He sold his house and embarked on building a new one, but this time he opted for something significantly smaller than before. Bruce constructed his own miniature dwelling in the countryside, with only 100 square feet of space. He affectionately named it Cherry. Despite its diminutive size, Cherry boasts remarkable beauty. Crafted from wood, adorned with numerous windows, and topped with a charming red roof, it's a cozy and, according to him, the house doesn't actually feel small when you're inside. Thanks to the windows and high ceiling, it feels spacious. Bruce feels very happy there. He has decorated his new home in a beautiful and clever way. Many Bruce Farr feels incredibly content and has no plans of moving because his current home is his dream come true. It's beautiful both inside and out, not to mention the stunning landscape surrounding the area. The house is spacious enough for him and his canine friend, providing a sense of safety and security. Cherry Hill has truly become Bruce's personal paradise. Who wouldn't want to live in a place like this? As human beings, we increasingly recognize the value of the little things, especially when we find ourselves without them. This sentiment resonated deeply with Lola's family, who, like many others, relied solely on one car to get by. Santiago has approximately 880 homeless people living in this manner. This arrangement provides them with a certain sense of security, as they can lock the car and park it in designated areas, often monitored by the organization Dreams for Change. This organization is responsible, among other things, for ensuring the safety of these individuals, many of whom find themselves living in this manner. After facing several issues with her ex-husband, Lola found herself unable to afford her old house or motel stays due to financial constraints. Faced with this dilemma, she resolved to seek out an alternative solution. After a while, they found themselves in a homeless shelter. However, they had negative experiences there. Lola felt it was too dangerous and risky for her daughters, so she decided that living in a car might be the best option, at least temporarily. That's how they ended up living in those precarious conditions for years, sadly. And as if the situation wasn't already bad enough, the city of San Diego passed another law prohibiting living in cars. Lola and her daughters, who had very little to begin with, were left completely on the streets. Some time later, their lives took a drastic turn. Unable to stay in their car, they were forced to search for a new home. Eventually, Lola managed to find one, and they currently reside there. In the meantime, Lola attends City College with aspirations of becoming a filmmaker. She hopes to change people's lives by writing films. Lola's parents had been suggesting help for a long time, but Lola refused, believing she could figure things out on her own. However, Seeing the dire circumstances and feeling sorry for her daughters, Lola finally accepted her parents' assistance. Her father's financial support provided her daughters the opportunity to have a decent life again after enduring years of hardship. Finally, they have a comfortable place to call home. Miguel Restrepo and Maria Garcia found themselves in dire circumstances when they crossed paths in Medellin 25 years ago. At that time, Medellin was a dangerous city in Colombia, plagued by various adversities. Miguel and Maria, who were married, faced challenging times together, having lost their home and jobs, leaving them with little to sustain themselves. 
Despite their hardships, they found solace and support in each other's company. Recognizing the need for a significant change, they decided to break free from their miserable lives with the support of one another. Mariah explained that having someone to share the burden can make it easier. Determined to rectify this situation, they embarked on a mission to find shelter. After some time, they managed to settle in a very unconventional location, a sewer in an industrial area of Medellin. Against all odds, what was supposed to be a temporary solution became their long-term home. Today, this couple has lived in the sewer for 25 years. They have turned a, they have transformed a dreadful place into something habitable and surprisingly pleasant. Their dwelling is equipped with all the necessities of life. To enter, they simply jump into a large round hole in the middle of the street. Inside, they have electricity, a few lamps, a heater for the cold, a bed, a kitchen, a television, and even a fan for hot days. As it is still a sewer, there is a large opening through which anything can enter. To prevent flooding from rain, Miguel and Mariah use pieces of cardboard or plastic bags to cover it. Additionally, their dog ensures that no one else enters the property when they are away. They sustain themselves by doing small jobs on the street, such as helping people park, and sometimes receive money from charities. Despite their unconventional living situation, they have no desire to move again. Miguel often remarks that he lives better than the president. They have everything they need, no one bothers them, and they don't bother anyone. Every night, they return to their palace after overcoming countless adversities. Beyond material possessions, they cherish something far more valuable, love. It's their love for each other that allows them to live so happily. With each other's companionship, they have everything they need. That's why those who have witnessed their happiness for almost three decades understand something that many others do not. Love is the most important thing in life. It's truly fascinating to see how Miguel and Maria have lived and continue to live together. How would you feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below? Don't forget to like and share this video, and please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to activate the notification bell to stay updated on our latest stories.